Hey guys, okay, I'm back to do another video. Um, I haven't done a what's in my purse in a very long time, so I thought I would go ahead and do one now. And I plan on doing a what's in my backpack since I'm going back to school this semester. So um, I'll do a what's in my backpack in another video. Um, sorry if the music's kind of loud, but we have the music on and I'm enjoying it. So yeah, um, I thought I would just show you what's in my purse. Same purse I've been using for like two years now and it's still in good condition. Um, just little nicks here and there but so far pretty good. So um, I'll just jump right into it since it's, I don't think it's a lot. First piece of paper um, says success will come to your plans and I like this one so I kept it more paper this is just um a seating chart plan on going to um a show so i kept that in my purse this goes with that more work more paperwork on that same with that same stuff um ipod let's see what i was listening to last um Nothing. Let's see what. I guess I was listening to Chris Brown since that's what it is showing. So yeah, Chris Brown last. Let's see. Maybe I can get to my now playing. Yeah. Anyways, iPod wallet this is the wallet that i keep in here because i like to take this one out and just carry it sometimes um inside i have driver's license same one credit card and military id i guess i'll show this one too so that's that one um lots of cards there's car max and stuff like that the ones that i guess matter is my beauty insider uh, petco sally's and yeah um got some cards for the club I don't know free admission to liquid it's like a day club at the hotel on the strip yeah and then other stuff that's kind of not showable receipts and stuff so that's that keys um little cards that came with the big cards got this in Japan before we move car house another wallet this one holds like just you know stuff like that more cards more and more nothing else really in here pretty empty um this sorry is just like a little booklet that shows all of the shows and stuff in Las Vegas. Pack of gum that's pretty old. Mint. Um, check stub. Camera. This is the Kodak one that I told you guys about already. Let's see. Um, this is E. Saint Laurent. I forgot what the name of it is called can't see it but anyways use this all the time um balled up paper <laughs> deodorant i use degree i use wins deodorant smells really good and keep um clear no polish um this is some hand cream for dry skin I don't know how to say the brand but that's the brand and I use it all the time hair tie penny 
sunflower seeds. This is really nasty. Hairpin. Altoids. Burt's Bees um, Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream and Hand Salve. Cocoa Butter. A case to my phone, which I don't use anymore. Headphones to my iPod. Um, Varium Lip Gloss. And a regular um, camera card or something like that. And some EOS lip balm. Everything else is just like little pieces of plastic and stuff. Ain't nothing special. And that's pretty much everything that's in my purse. Let me put everything back. And then in this video, this video is only six minutes, so I guess I will connect my what's in my backpack to this video. So it'll be what's in my backpack and what's in my purse. All right, be right back. Okay, so I went and got my backpack since um, the other video was pretty short. So what? My husband's right here, <laughs> looking at me. Um, yeah, this is my backpack. Purchased it in Japan. I don't know the name of the store. So yeah, it was pretty cheap. It was like $15 or $20. So first thing is in this pocket. I have um, just like a mini composition book and this is just to put like homework and stuff in. Pretty much like an agenda I would use it for, but it doesn't have dates or anything. I just write it all in myself. Um, white out. Pencil sharpener, and that's everything in the front. Inside, um, this is what the inside looks like. I'm taking two classes this semester, um, which is pretty easy. They're both pretty easy. Um, drawing or art class and English class. So. Might as well show you my books just to um, how to write anything and um, a guide to drawing. So that's that. I didn't buy a binder or anything, so I got two folders one for drawing and one for um, English. And they pretty much, they just have like little plastic part in the front that you can like stick papers in. And then these little parts that, just like a regular folder. So two of those. Everything in this um, backpack I got from Target for less than $2 a piece, except for the pens and pencils. So these are also from Target, two composition books. These were at 99 cents a piece. And these aren't the paper kind, these are actually plastic. Like, I don't know, well, open, but these are plastic. These were 99 cents. Uh, one drawing sketchbook. So it's just regular sketch paper. This was $3 at Target. Then, uh, lastly, it's this little bag. This was $1.99 at Target, and it's really cute. It has like a little owl on it. And inside, I just have racer, um, a set of pins, different colored pins. Um, excuse the foul language and the music. Um, so these are the pins. These were, I don't remember the price, but I got these from Target. Everything else, um, just a small eraser, two highlighters, came in a pack of more, but I'm only bringing two. These came in a pack as well for 99 cents, or less than 99 cents, these are just regular pencils. And then these, each color came in its own pack. So one pack of red, one pack of blue, one pack of black. And it was a lot of pencil pins, not just two, but probably like 10 or 12 of each color. 
and that's it. Empty. Another eraser. I didn't get any mechanical pencils only because I'm not doing math or anything. It's pretty easy. I probably won't be using pencils to write in English and I need regular pencils to draw. So that's why I got regular pencils. So yeah, that's it for what's in my purse and what's in my backpack. And I hope you guys enjoy it and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.